But first tonight, when you think of the Guinness Book of World Records, all kinds of achievements come to mind. Some of the records are downright creepy, such as the one for the largest collection of haunted dolls, mm -hmm. while others might make you laugh, such as the one for the most feet and armpits sniffed. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> one of the most recent record breakers, though, is a teen from Maine, and he's putting Cumberland on the map. Just start with bag number one. Make it's it fair to say direction. Cooper Wright yeah, has a bit of an obsession. You look at the directions and just start. One that stems back at least a decade. Next. And then. What and then is that obsession, you may ask? You're looking at it. Legos. Whenever you do a page, you make sure you get everything right so you don't miss anything. And. You're already done with that page? Yeah. How many pieces are we working with right now? I think like 300, um, 295 to be exact. Okay. So. Is that a lot? Um, yes and no. Cooper, who is 13 by the way. Trying to find Darth Vader's head. Has been assembling models like this since he was three or four. I remember putting it together with my parents on the dinner table. At that age, there was a lot of Lego cities, the beginner ones. And then we bought him the Death Star for Christmas. The aspect of putting it together was really fun. You had to help him sometimes if he put together, you know, the wrong piece on the wrong piece. We'd have to help him get it apart. But he built the thing pretty much by himself. And once you watch him assemble for a bit, there is no denying he's good. Real good. I was doing a um, 700 piece one a couple days ago and it took me about 45 minutes. So I bet you I could do it faster if I was going faster. Cooper's not only a creator, he's also a collector. This one I'm actually building is um, retired, so like you can't get it anymore. And it was actually at a uh, exclusive one that there was only like a certain amount made. I like collecting things a lot, and the also the building part of it's very fun. And I like having the collection of like trying to get like all the Star Wars stuff or all like the Harry Potter. He's not kidding. His collection can be found all around his house. I have the black pearl from Pirates of the Caribbean right here. It just keeps going. This is the first ever um, Lego Star Wars. And going. Barcelona Stadium, Millennium Falcon. And going. This is the first one I ever got. And going. This is probably like half of my collection, I would say. But Cooper's proudest achievement isn't a model. It's a map. They're like these little beads. Thing. This map. You start with like over here, it was like Alaska, and then you would go over like Canada, and then you'd go down to like California, and then like the Eastern United States. I think that was probably harder than any other one I've done because it's like a mosaic thing where you have to place the parts. It's not like this where they're like all in different ways, shapes. It's like on one Board and you put them in less like pegs so it's different. In total, there are 11,695 pieces. You're probably thinking it took him days, maybe even months to complete. Wrong. How quickly did you put them out? Nine together? hours, 14 minutes, and 49 seconds. Impressive and record breaking. Cooper now holds the title of fastest to complete the Lego world map in the Guinness Book of World Records. It was definitely very hard to do. He did it over the summer with two timekeepers, an overseer, and his mom and dad keeping watch. How many times had you put it together before? Once before. My strategy was just build it as fast as I could. I mean, it was fun, but it was very long and tedious to do. I didn't really take like a full break for um, lunch or whatever but I had a couple like snack, small breaks. I watched Star Wars, I watched some Marvel movies. I only used the uh, restroom once. You only went to the bathroom once? Correct. That's impressive. Thank you. That's very impressive. Yeah, um, it was hard to do. Probably could have beaten it um, faster if I, my table fell over during it. It really didn't break, it just all like the beads went everywhere, like the little pegs, okay. and then that was hard to pick up, but Oh my God, what did you think when that happened? I was a little nervous. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to beat it. Cause like, I really wasn't looking at the timer cause I was scared. Okay, I'm done. It took some time, but by December, 
Cooper had finally got the email declaring he had the record. I hold it. And it's safe to say okay. his parents okay. are very proud. Totally surprised. Like he told me he'd do it under 10 hours. It's pretty cool that 13 year old broke a world record. I don't know anybody else with a Guinness Book of World Record. So what's next for this teenage Lego master? Voila, done. The Eiffel Tower and maybe just maybe another record for the books. I just finished building it and took about maybe nine hours to do in total. I didn't do it in one straight thing. I did it throughout a couple of days. But yeah, I, I could probably break the record for that one, I think. I love his confidence. <laughs> I really do. Did you ever play with Legos as a kid? I did. Legos were a lot different back <laughs> Back in the day, <laughs> you would not be shocked to learn they have evolved technologically. Yeah. So they were they were much simpler. They were much blockier when yeah. I was a kid. But yeah, I mean, I, wh what kid does not love Legos? Well, listen, I could never get into it because my br I couldn't wrap my head around how to do it. So when I was talking to him, he's just you know talking to me, putting it together, not even really looking. I'm yeah. like, how do you do this? Well, it's crazy. I'm a map geek, and as a as a map head, I am impressed. Yeah. With what he's done. It's. It's really cool. And so many pieces. So many pieces. Cooper is still waiting for his official certificate from Guinness to come in the mail, but we cannot wait to see how many more records he breaks in the years to come.